I just want to let you know, this disappoints the hell out of me. It disappoints the hell out of me that we've gotten to this point because it didn't have to get to this point. For nearly a month now, a sanitation worker strike has left trash piling up across San Diego and local leaders are calling for answers. And it all came to a head tonight when those workers and their employer, Republic Services, came together at a Chula Vista City Council meeting. Fox 5's Kasha Gorgorczyk is live outside council chambers with what played out. Kasha. Well, Kathleen, Republic Services and the Labor Union have gone back and forth 15 times now, and still a deal has not been reached. Tonight, council members were highly critical of this company, very clearly siding with the workers on this issue. You're dickering with them at the table over these pennies on the dollar, and how does that concern the city? Your obligations under the contract are not being fulfilled. It disappoints the hell out of me that we've gotten to this point because it didn't have to get to this point. Strong words from Chula Vista City Council members for representatives from Republic Services who have not been able to strike an agreement with sanitation workers since last month. The problem has now piled up in neighborhoods and at city properties. We're beginning to see a vector issue with rats and vermin and crows um, attacking uh, trash bags. Republic Services had its chance to provide an update on negotiations. I can tell you with confidence that our drivers, with their wages, their benefits, their pension, and their additional allowances for things like tools and belts throughout the year, they fall squarely within and in some cases above their essential worker colleagues. And that's on their current contract. Don't believe them. They're 100% here to protect their profits. Meanwhile, workers have consistently pushed for better wages and improved working conditions. Countless injuries, accidents, and life-changing incidents. And it doesn't help that some of the equipment we are forced to use on a daily basis is unsafe. Never in my working life has a company made me feel so disrespected, humiliated, and dehumanized like Republic Services has. The last offer from Republic Services on January 5th was voted down by only an 11% margin. However, the fallout continues until a deal is reached. It has to end and it has to end now. Well, tonight, council members really put the pressure on Republic Services, as you heard, but no formal action was taken. We know the mayor as well. Another reason why she's really putting the pressure on this group is because they've made more than a billion dollars. She pointed out that they even awarded each of their board of directors more than $200,000 each this last year. We do know that the city council went into a closed session after tonight's meeting. They're going to discuss legal options regarding their own contract with Republic Services. Reporting live in Chula Vista tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. In the meantime, the garbage continues to pile up. Thank you so much, our Kasha Grigorczyk tonight.